and welcome to the Crazy Town Elementary School Presidential Debate. I'm Sophia from Miss Brady's class and will serve as moderator for today's election. Today's debate will be structured in a town hall format with questions posed by you, the students. Now please join me in welcoming your two candidates, Caitlin Parker and Eddie Grantwood. To say the least, 2016 was an unforgettable year from internet fads such as Pokemon Go and R.I.P. Harambe to the 2016 presidential election. With Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton running neck and neck, the total outcome came down to what our millennials had to say. And that is totally terrifying, considering that over 11,000 Americans actually voted for the dead. Gorilla, Harambe. <laughs> but with the 2020 election coming up, maybe it's time we start taking advice from our future generations. Because the future is in your tiny hands by Jonathan Rand. Before we get started, I'd like to ask the candidates if you could describe your candidacy in three words, what would those three words be? Well, if I could describe my candidacy in three words, it would be four to long. Our student body has been divided into factions of the have and have nots, but under my administration, I will make sure everybody has an equal opportunity to achieving their dreams. <laughs> well, if I could describe my candidacy in three words, uh, unlike my opponent, I will comply to Sophia's three word limit. My goals include Uh, okay. Our first question comes from Don Francisco, who this one time shot a PG-13 movie when her parents weren't home. I love tater tots. What is your stance on tater tots? To reiterate, I love tater tots. And excellent question, Don. As you can see, over the last decade, we've seen a disturbing decline in overall quantity of tot. But under my administration, I will reinstate the legislation known as a lot of tots, which will make sure that all lunch trays adhere to my PPPPPPP plan. Perfectly plentiful piles of petite potato perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, these are difficult times, but make no mistake, I will win the war on taterism. Look. I'm not gonna beat around the potato bush. Tater tots pull that. Ninety-nine point four percent. That's a higher approval rating than ice cream trucks. So basically, you hate tots. You hate America. I love tater tots, and I love America. Under my Lunchbox Lovers program, we the people will decide what's for lunch. Be it tater tots, corn dog lunchables, or and this is the most important of all, fruit. <laughs> By the foot. Awesome. Our next question comes from Brendan Schlattery, whose career goals include Batman. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Girls are gross! Thank you, Brendan. Gender issues are a critical part of this election, which is why on day one of my administration, I will repeal the student council's short-sighted verdict in awesome girls versus silly boys. Once again, my opponent is on the wrong side of history. Awesome girls versus silly boys is our generation's most influential ruling, which is why I will throw my full support behind it and call for punitive damages pursuant to the yanking of pigtails. That is outrageous! Pigtail yanking rats have been in place since the days of our forefathers. <laughs> Sophia, before we move on, I'd like to point out that my opponent is a girl and is therefore by the transitive property of gender totally 
gross. Ow! I'd like to point out that my opponent is a boy, and in a few years he'll do a total 180 and try to impress me with some cheap cologne. But I reject him for somebody with a driver's license. Awesome. Our next question comes from... We will be turning to our Twitter feed for our next question. At ChunkyMonkey12 says, Yo, trolls, totes LOLs, R-O-F-L, DM me with pics. Hashtag yellow. <coughs> our next question comes from Larry Hartley, whose favorite candy is all candy. We live in a world where we face difficult challenges, which is why I must ask, how many jumbo marshmallows can you fit in your mouth? Um, I don't know. Uh, five? <laughs> Six. <laughs> Our last question comes from Edie Shingle, who really, 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 really loves horseshoes. <laughs> I am always picked last for pick bump under your administration. Will I ever get picked last? Again? Under my administration, I will make sure everybody has an equal opportunity to getting picked first. Well, where I come from, we call that way of thinking hogwash, or malarkey, or stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb pants. You know, maybe things would be different if we were in Russia playing communism ball. But we are in America playing kickball. In America, do we pick LeBron James last in the NBA draft? No, because that would be stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb pants. We will always pick LeBron James first in the NBA draft, just like we will always pick Jenny Friedman first in kickball. Why? Because Jenny Friedman is good at kicking the ball. Oh, with that concludes the end of today's debate. Uh, on behalf of the entire student body, I'd like to thank the candidates for what it seems to be a uh, highly informative conversation. Now, if everybody will please cast their ballots into this box. <laughs> elections have been decided by who can fit more jumbo marshmallows in their mouth. Congratulations to our new president, Eddie Grantwood.